Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Dragonflight and our Human Paladin leveling campaign. Today we're picking up back in Red Ridge. We have a few things going on. We're going to head out. We are looking for some Blackrock Orcs to fight. We need to kill 25 of them. Also looking for the Bravo Company, and we're trying to find Keyshawn's bow and survival knife. I did pick up a couple of quests around town just a minute ago. So we are going to head out and do that. Saving Foreman Oslo, if we if we happen to come across an Eden, we'll, we'll try that one again. We had the game kind of bug out and disconnect us the last time we tried to do it, and I'm not really looking forward to experiencing that again. So for now, we're just going to hold out. Looks like we can fight the orcs right here. Let's go ahead and get right into that. A lot of stuns. So we're breaking out all of Keyshawn's men. Uh, this is basically just like... Think about the movie Rambo, and that's who Keyshawn is. And for the Blizzard quest where they like take something from pop culture and make it into a quest chain, I, I, don't, I don't typically tend to read those. I don't find them very entertaining. Kind of like the equivalent of like hanging out with somebody and all they do is like quote movies and t sh TV show lines at you that like you both mutually know. But that's like the only thing that you do is like quote movie lines and stuff back and forth. Like TV shows and stuff and... Uh, that's not really interesting to me <laughs> and I don't find it interesting in Quest any more than I find it interesting in general conversation. So uh, I tend to not read these ones. Pull this guy out of here, I think he has the survival knife. He's also got a ton of health, and I think I'm gonna pop wings here. I think we've pulled more guys than I realized. I think we have at least one more guy on us, maybe two. Murdunk back there is definitely hitting us. Let's get in here and see if we can deal with him. Yep. 
Probably be a good idea to take the scout out first. Let's do this. Oh good, the other guy respawned. That's just awesome. So once we kill this guy, we're going to have to back up because other otherwise we're going to be fighting these guys indefinitely. So let's... Can we loot? Let's loot. Okay, and then let's get the heck out of this spot. This is, uh, yeah, this is not, that's not going to work for me. <laughs> we're, not, we're not fighting this guy again. Yeah, we're not going to do it. Yeah, you can just keep, keep taking pot shots back there. So we are not doing that again. We're just pulling people wherever we go. Can't help it. Alright, what are we doing here? Mesner's cage key. Who has the cage key? That's an elite. Um, man, I don't want to read this quest. <laughs> but I might have to. Because I'm not really understanding what the cage key is. You've got one shot to get the key without waking up any of those sleeping wargs. Head to the warg den, find a way to the center, tread carefully. Watch out for the captain, get the key and run. So the key is supposed to be in here somewhere. Okay, that's fine. We won't step on any of the dogs. Uh, then again. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, this is a, this is a fun quest. I don't know where the key is. Like I don't, I don't see it. That's that's going to be a huge problem for me. Will I be doing these quests? Because I, I kind of forgot they ruined Red Ridge with these quests. When I came to Red Ridge, I, I totally forgot how much these uh, Rambo quests just kind of ruin it for me. They turned it into a really short zone, and this is like the main story trap chapter stuff that's going on, and. I don't really care for any of it. The quests themselves are fine. Like, I like the kill quest for the uh, Blackrock Orcs. This quest I, uh, I don't like. I don't see the key. It's somewhere in the middle of all the wargs. Part of me is tempted just to clear them out a few at a time. And in fact, we, we, might, we might just try to do that because uh, otherwise I, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, they're all elite. These bastards. <laughs> all the dogs are elite. That's why we died instantly. Uh, we can't fight them. We have we have to do the quest. We have to sneak in if we want to do the quest. How badly do I want to do the quest? I don't know if I want to do it that badly.
I will try this one more time. And after that, we're not going to bother with it. Alright, this is the key. Um, this is an elite, right? I don't know. We need her for the quest, so let's give it a shot. I think we're heading over to the west now. Maybe not this way though? Yeah, here we go.
Krakavir, kill ritualist Tarak. Alright. All roads are leading us back into this cave here. The Ritualist Tarok is a troll. Alright, we've got the team back together. Uh, well, except for Danforth, who's being tortured on the other side of the cave. We really, really did not need to fight this guy again, and I'm like pretty annoyed about the respawn right on this guy. <laughs> okay, perfect. Hey, at least we have another NPC to, s to hit him. Might go a little bit faster this time. I feel like if we don't heal Krauser, he's going to die, and I really don't want him to. So I, I am going to heal him. 
seems kind of absurd. Lay on hands did not heal him full. Is he gonna die as part of this fight? Because I'm gonna try to stop it if I can. I feel like their health is tied together almost. Strange. Well, he lived with 4% of his health left. I don't I don't like that at all. Well, what would have happened if he would have died, I wonder? And is he going to regen his health at all on his own? It really doesn't seem like he's going to. Yeah, that's... That's not good. It's not good. How are we supposed to help this person? Exactly. Is that it? Did we help him? Are we done? No. I... I don't know how to help this guy. Ready for turden. Recover the Blackrock lever key. Use the Blackrock lever key to free Danforth. I don't I don't know if we got the lever key. Let's try it. Oh, we did. Okay, perfect. I'm glad his little screenshot was a picture of his calves. That was good. Report to Colonel Troutman in Lakeshire, Redridge. Okay, so we can go ahead and hearth out of here. We're good. Unbelievable, you managed to rescue the entire Bravo company from the clutches of the Blackrock Orcs. With Keyshawn's team rescued and Keyshawn's belongings returned, there's no way Keyshawn could refuse us. Light bless you. Did you locate the headband and lights. amulet? Yep. Be careful. Take this bundle of Keyshawn's possessions and head back to the Lakeshire basement. Okay, so he's in like a little fight club type situation right now. We're gonna go give him his clothing back, basically. With you. Uh, one-handed sword? Or one-handed mace. I'd really love a two-handed anything. But yeah. Be careful. It got it got a rare upgrade. Foreman Oslo has strangely been saved. I, I don't know what triggered us to finally have completed that quest, but I'm not going to argue with it. See you later. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what happened there exactly. King's honor, friend. Go with honor, friend. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, we do have a couple of points we could spend here. Each holy power you spend has a 5% chance to cause your consecration to, to flare up. 
or just your spells and abilities have a chance to cause your target to erupt in blinding light, dealing 43 holy damage, or healing allies. Like things that are going to make me want to lay down Consecration. Consecration damage increased by 10%. Okay, let's do that. Uh, looking back up here, we could improve the cooldown on Judgment. Increase our Mastery. Increase Critical Strike Chance of Blade of Justice. I feel like that's necessar necessary. Consecration Periodic Damage has a chance to grant Holy Power. Let's take that. And there we go. It does seem like there's a very uh, Consecration-centric build going on, and I kind of like that. I guess, like, not everybody likes Consecration as an ability in their rotation, but I enjoy it. Well, they've all put their clothes back on, so that's good. Black Ark Orcs are going to need an army to handle the Bravo Company and you. When you're ready to go, meet us at the dock facing Lake Everstill and we'll set off on my riverboat for Camp Everstill on the other side of the lake. Yeah, he's back. He's still not wearing a shirt, obviously. Like, why would he? We didn't get him a shirt. We got him an armband and a headband, so that's on us. Could have done some little additional shopping while we were out. So yeah, we're going to the uh, river, but we need the spyglass. We didn't get... We, d we need a spyglass from up here. We'll wait and see if we head back out that way. I'm really happy that the Foreman Oslo quest just magically completed for us. Let's come down to the end of the dock and see what the little boy needs us to do. It's probably recovering a necklace, right? <laughs> Find the necklace. Okay. Well, that was just some easy, free experience, it seems. Yeah, just a free 10,000 XP. No big deal. That got us level 51, actually. Ashes to Ashes. When you benefit from Art of War, you gain Seraphim for 2 seconds. Seraphim, the light magnifies your power for 15 seconds, granting 2% haste, crit, verse, and 13% mastery. Yeah, I think we need that. Divine Toll is down here. It's good to see us able to go back into that. We could do Execution Sentence, though. The hammer slowly falling. I like Divine Toll. Hmm. I like Divine Toll, but that's probably because just that was what I was used to using as a Kyrian Paladin in Shadowlands. So I don't even know if it's that I like it, it's like I'm used to it. Onto the riverboat we go. I don't know if I've ever done this quest chain to this length, so maybe it'll just get a little better from here on out now that we're actually proceeding with the quest line. It's how all boats should be piloted, obviously. It's basically foolproof. Until he lights the boat on fire.
Interestingly, this is taking us to another hub. Blackrock Orcs blew up the bridge leading to Stonewatch Keep. Frontal Assault is out of the question. Okay. Crocker? Two ways to get behind enemy lines. Three if you count being dead. Oh. North through Alther's Mill, but we'd have to cut through an army of bloodthirsty wargs, or south through Render's Valley. Jorgensen, what do you have on Render's Valley? Blackrock's all over the damn place. One main tower at the choke and two smaller huts. It's a death trap. Death trap, huh? Mesner, I got a plan. Gonna need some Sephorium. Orc killing time. Before we do a damn thing, we need to get a field kit together. You'll help with that. There's also a matter of scouting. Thankfully for that, we've got some help from Stormwind. An old war buddy of mine, Brabaker, Brubaker, Brubaker, was sent here by SI7 to scout around for us. You're to meet him in the field just south of here. Pick up Brubaker and find out what he knows. And they all have quests for us. Gather five pieces of leaves and five pieces of fox poop. Oh good, a poop quest. Just what I wanted to do. Collect eight muck dweller glands. And kill eight black rock hunters. All right, pretty straightforward, though a lot of it's taking us in a different direction. So let's go out and do the water stuff first. It's right here.
even though we don't need like lots of air, it actually turns out that we still need some air. <laughs> so, you know, it happens to everybody. That I guess that's kind of like the downside of having this really long breath bar is that uh, you can just kind of forget that you need to think about it. Let's head south right over here. We can get the fox poo, the piles of leaves. We can get the black rock hunters and we can turn in the breadcrumb to brew baker. We don't need these murlocs, so if we can avoid them, I'm going to do that. I'm seeing these hunters, but they're like casting stealth or something on themselves. I'm, I'm not... Yeah, they're, they're casting some kind of stealth on themselves. Camouflage, I guess, is the name of the spell.
You would think we'd find at least one of them up here. Here we go. Two of them. That doesn't look good for uh, Brubaker here. It looks like maybe he's dead. He has a great nameplate. Never a good sign. Brubaker is dead. It looks like the orcs are attempting to send a message with this grisly display. Upon closer examination, you notice something in Brubaker's pouch. Kishan, if you're reading this note, I'm dead. Likely that my position was compromised. Orcs are continuing... Orcs are committing unspeakable atrocities against their prisoners. Yes, prisoners. They've got cages full of POWs. If you're going to blow up this valley, you'll need to free the prisoners first. Tell my wife I love her and to take out the damn trash. They've got black dragons. Oh, good. We've got all that turned in. Now we'll give Keisha on the bad news. Well met. They got Brubaker? Damn it. That just got complicated. We've got prisoners of war to rescue before we can blow up the valley. Not to mention the orcs have black dragons on their side. Be careful. The Bravo Company field kit is ready. I'm going to equip you with it, and you're going to enter the Renders Valley southeast of here and free our POWs. I'm sending Jorgensen with you to watch your back. Now the prisoners are being held on the northeast side of the valley in a large cage, but the key to the cage is in a cave on the south side of the valley. What Got it. Alright guys, what we're going to do is we are actually going to take a little bit of a break here, and when we come back we will finish up... Well, we're going to finish up Red Ridge. Um, it looks like we have a lot left to explore, but it seems like this is the last story chapter. And then I think whatever levels we have left, so if this gets us 53 or 54, then we're probably going to go into Stranglethorn and just... Uh, do some old-fashioned kill quests to get ourselves to level 60. Really excited to get this character to max level. It is the 25th today, which means we have three days to max him out and uh, get mentally ready to go into Dragonflight. Really looking forward to it. Hope you guys are having a good time. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again sometime really soon. Bye for now.